Hello, Assalamu Alaikum guys. This is my another video on hack on Hackintosh, and in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the benchmarks and stress tests on Hackintosh. The first test will be on Geekbench 3. So right now, this the specs I'm using are this. It's an AG. It's Core i5 at Turbo Boost to 3.7 gigahertz AGB of RAM which is clocked at 1600 MHz and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 670 so this test the Geekbench test is basically for the CPU testing so many of the users of Hackintosh are having different and various problems uh, with their CPUs right now I'm using a Haswell CPU the 4th gen Core i5 that's why I think I have been uh, saved from all of that trouble so let's start the first benchmark I think the benchmark result will be really low if I did that on as well as doing the uh, screen recording because I can show you how much CPU energy the screen recording use look at here yeah. it's around it's, uh, around 60 or to 70 percent of the performance is taken by the screen recording services QuickTime and VT encoder so what I will do is I will show you some of the my benchmarks that have been achieved using this setup so uh, so take the highest one it's this let me make it bigger 3,853 on a single core and 12,810 on multi-core and you can see the system model version operating system it's 10.11 on El Capitan you can see at the processor it's showing 3.3 to 3.4 but it did at 3.3 to 3.7 one processor four cores and you can see all the details and this is more than the normal 2013 iMac uh, with the uh, Core i5. Normal iMac get around 12,000, but it's 12,100 and 200. And my system is built like on the half price of that. So it's really nice to achieve such uh, benchmarks. The other benchmark is SignBench. Sign bench. So same is the case with the sign bench. If I will do some uh, CPU intensive uh, benchmarking, it will show you the false result. But I can show you my previous results. This is uh, the last highest I ever achieved. It is right here, right here. It is two cores. It is not two cores. It is an four core system but it shows two cores every time you can see two cores four threads at 3.7 it's like little misunderstanding in it it's two cores four threads 3.7 at uh, 3.4 g it's that intel core i5 this is my model 4590 cpu 590 and you can see it have given some four core eight thread cpus of intel uh, core i3 i think it's the third or second gen cpu and it got almost same of me and this is the last time I did using 10.11 and if I add some more details you can see the OS version and sign version and OpenGL version and let me get it out of the yeah now you can see it this one is on 10.11 uh, and this ones are on 10. 11.1 uh, and the 11.1 are 588 like it's two percent for two points for that's normal it can be due to any software I've been using or something else and uh, this can be improved I think if I overclock my system I can get an even higher benchmarks the processor I'm using is not so much overclockable because it's in locked version 
but if I get some unlocked world model which you can't do basically in an original Mac and my system my motherboard is an Asus Z97 programmer which uh, got some built-in functions to overclock directly from the BIOS so I don't need to tweak using any Windows software it can basically done uh, effect on both Apple and on OS X on, on Windows as well so and I think there is a Nova bench as well Nova bench Nova bench is like weird it gives really low results due to some not compatibility on uh, El Capitan and I go at loop mark as well loop mark basically if I open it it will start doing benchmarking I got some screenshots of that loop marks benchmark let me show you uh, here it is this one was the last time I get I think tomorrow I did that it's an uh, you can see it's both the CPU and the GPU and you can see here is my clock speed it says my CPU and here's the result few people with a Nvidia GTX Titan are getting around this uh, I, a friend of mine was using a uh, GTX Titan with Core i7 I think so the problem he was getting was due to some legacy board that the score only topped at around 8000 so that's not so much for such a system it was an I think a 6 core system so that's all if you ever need any help tweaking your Hackintosh or you're getting some serious sh shutdowns or sudden shutdowns or if you need some help subscribe to subscribe to my page ask your question as comments I will try my best to answer them all thanks for watching meet you in the next video